Hello everyone. Welcome to SQL Server interview tutorial. Uh, today we are going to discuss about an Amazon SQL challenge. As you can see on my screen, we have an input table called orders and we have to calculate the month over month percentage change in revenue. Okay, let me quickly just go to the uh, Excel sheet so that you can take a look at the given table and the expected output. Okay. As you can see in this table, we have four columns. We have ID, order date, order amount, and then the subsequently the order ID, right? And coming to the expected output, we have month and we have revenue percentage. As I told at the start of this video, we have to calculate the change in uh, the revenue on a month by month basis. And make sure whatever format you see here, that is here hyphen month, we have to make sure that we adhere to the same format when we actually write the code in SQL Server. Okay, let me head back to SQL Server. Okay, this is the input. Let me just quickly run the input table command. Okay, I already created this uh, table in my SQL Server instance. I'll be giving the insert and create statements in the video description. Kindly take a look at that. Okay, uh, before moving forward, I would request anybody who is watching this video to please subscribe to this channel as this would really motivate me to bring more and more technical questions or uh, our learning so that we all can grow with each other. Thank you. Coming back to the question now. So as I mentioned, we have this input table. I've already written the order by created that statement here so that we can understand in a better way. So for example, you see for the month of January, we have five records here. And these are the orders that were placed in January with these order amounts. And coming back to the question that I initially told you, that we have to calculate the total change in revenue on a month over month basis. That means we need to first take the sum of all the order amount for a specific month, right? For example, we'll have to take the sum of all of these orders that happen in the month of January. Similarly, we need to do that for February, March, April, and until June. Okay, let's first try to write a query for that. Let's calculate the total order amount sum for the for all the months that are there in this credit card date. Okay. Uh, let's use this function called format. Okay, for the people who are not aware about this function, this format function would actually help us to retrieve the uh, credit that in the format that we desire, that we talked about year hyphen month basis that I just showed you in the Excel sheet. Okay, let me write the query. Created that. Um, let's give the format that we want. Let's areas. Let's areas. It is month, and I also need to take the sum of the order amount on a monthly basis. Let's use a window function here using sum over. Let's partition it by the same format that we just used. Let's areas. It is current month amount from audit table, right? Okay, so here what we have got is, we've got the total sum of the, I mean, order amount for each month. As you can see, so all of these are duplicates, right? Because we have multiple orders for the same month. Let's try to add a distinct clause here and see now this will come up to six records because we had six different months in the starting from January till June and here we have the total order amount for each of the month right so that means half or half half of our work is done right let's once again see the expected output now because we wanted to calculate revenue percentage by comparing to previous month right let me write the formula how to calculate the revenue percentage here so that you guys will understand what I'm trying to say. Okay, revenue month would be current month amount minus previous month amount divided by previous month amount. And at last, we have to multiply it by 100, something like this. Okay, let's see. So until now, we have only calculated the current month amount. Let's swap it inside a CTE. Let's name it as orders CTE. 
Okay, let's let me quickly write a select start from order CD. Okay, so this is what we got. Okay, as I mentioned you previously that half of our job is done. And now we need to calculate the previous month amount. Now, how can we calculate the previous month amount? That means we need to get one more column here, which will give us the previous month amount. For example, when we start with January, because January is the first month of the year, so we will not have any previous month amount here, right? That's only logical. Coming to the February month, that means for February, the previous month would be January, right? That means I need one more column here that will give me this value 1288.97 here. Next to the current month amount column for February, right? Adjacent to this. Similarly, for March, I will need this 200 uh, current month amount value of February with March here. Am I right? Okay. So, whenever you want to calculate such uh, values that you have to take the previous or the next column, we use something called as lead and lag functions, right? In this scenario, because I want the previous month value, I'll be using lag. If in case, let's say, for example, the question might have been around that you have to calculate the difference between the next month, right? In that case, you would have used lead function. But because we have been asked to consider the previous month amount, we have to go with lag here. Okay, let's do one thing. Let's take another CTE here. Let's move it as orders CTE2 as let's close the bracket first okay and use a simple select once for oh, its cd2 and now as i told you that i need to use get the previous month amount right okay let's go with lag and because we need to do lag on this current month amount column now remember this is the output that is coming from the first cd the order cd1 right this one let me just quickly bring this down. Okay, so this was my first CT, right? And because I need to now use the lag function on this amount, so I'll be using current uh, month amount here. Because I have to go one step back, so I'll be giving this parameter one here because I have to go one step back from 200 to 1 to double it. Think like that. One to double eight will give me null because it does not have any previous record to this. This record does not have a, does not have any previous record, so that means we'll be getting a null value here. Over, let's order it by, and let's order it by month clause, right? Because I want this sorted on a monthly basis. I want this same order that we have here. Let's name it as previous. Uh, a month amount. Right? Okay, let's see what we get. Yep, we have got it as expected. So, for the first one, because it does not have any previous column, we get the previous month amount column as null. For the second month, we get this value 1 to double 8 here. For the third month, we get this value. 4, uh, 200 here next to the 498 uh, again 498 here 1327 here okay so we have got what we wanted now let me go back to the excel sheet and let's check the formula to calculate the monthly revenue percentage okay as i told you current month amount uh, minus previous month amount and then dividing it by the previous month amount okay let's do that here so we need the first column month and I need current month amount minus, let's copy this directly, take a bracket, divided by this and multiply by 100, right? Okay, we can multiply by 100 later, but let's see what we get. Okay, as you can see, we have uh, got the output. Right. Let's multiply it by 100 to bring it up in the exact format. And also, let's try to round this by two, uh, two decimal places. This percentage column. Let me give it the appropriate column name. It is revenue percentage.
Okay. And as I said, I also want to round this to two decimal places. Done. Okay. So we have achieved our expected output. Let's try to match it up with the Excel sheet. Yep, it's matching. Okay, so this is the first solution, guys, that I've used here using the sum window function. So you can also do this uh, by using group by. So it is not necessary for you to go with this sum, uh, uh, with this over and partition by clause. You can simply just write here group by format, uh, created that, and you can just take the sum of the order amount. You don't need to use this clause. I just use it, use it for my own simplicity and for to let you know guys how we can also use the window function there. Okay. I think uh, that's it for this video. I'll be back with similar skill challenging questions. I would request again, anybody is watching this video to please subscribe to this channel and just drop your query in comments. And if you have any better way to do this or solve this query, kindly pin it and uh, post it in comments. I'll be happily to look at it. Thank you so much.